Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Round 7. And if you'd like to see the layouts on Instagram, it's hashtag 30DSCBL7. And this is the sketch that we're using today. I'm pretty sure we used this once on the Mixed Media Frenzy. Oh, over a year ago. It's been a while. And I did it as a Christmas layout. So it's probably at Christmas time. Today I'm scrapping these three photos of my great niece, Alex. And instead of just putting the mixed media on the background, I thought I'd cut these doilies in half so they'd stretch out past the photos and just adhere them straight down to the page to give it a little more dimension underneath the mixed media. As you can see over there to the left, it's my pastel gelatos. Yeah. I'm going to be using pastel colors in the background of these photos. And the dye that I used, I am, I am pretty sure it's cat scrapping this. But, you know, I threw the packaging away a long time ago and it's just on the magnetic sheet. But I have used it before on the videos. And what's cool about it, you could use it like on a card and not put the outside ring on there. And it just cuts that design into the card and you could back it with something then. So you have a couple of options when you're using it. I did put clear gesso on my photos. <laughs> my photos. No, I didn't. I put it on my paper. And so, yeah, that means my gelatos... They say we'll move around. They don't soak in as quick. And I guess they don't because it does take a little while to dry. And I'm going to use three colors. The pink, the lighter pink. And all, oh, four, four. I take it back. The aqua and a gray. I might not have thought of using gray, but the original sketch has gray in it on the background. And then there's so much gray in my photo in the background. It's really just the lighting it's not really gray but i thought i'm gonna go ahead and use it and bring some gray from the back to the front hopefully that's what i'm hoping for anyway to make my pictures kind of blend in with it well the background on my photos i want alex to shine and i'm even gonna name my layout sparkle yeah she's adorable in those photos and I had a hard time deciding how I wanted to put them. But that one, she's like looking right at you. And she's posing, got her arm in the air, but it's cut off. I mean, you can't see it. That's how the picture was to start with. And they're kind of off center. And that one, her head's turned to the right. Well, the other two, I would have had to cover some of the photo up no matter what. And I finally decided the one that she looks like she's cheering to go in the middle. And so the other one is almost underneath that one photo, but it's not. But like I said, both of them would have been. Their head's kind of tilted in that direction in the middle one. So I debated on it a little while, moved them around, and finally decided this is how I was going to put them. And you all know I do like splatters on my layout. Well, <laughs> I put my uh, paintbrush over to the side put my mixed media thing over to the side and I hadn't put no paint drops on there no splatters no nothing so I had to go back and do that but the original sketch has stamping in the background well I'm not gonna have that I decided to skip that and put flowers instead and it also has like three stars on there well I'm gonna put sequins instead since my title's gonna be sparkle I thought, it's going to have to sparkle a little bit. And let's see. It, all, it also has what looks like one cross stitch. <laughs> I didn't put that on there either. Plus, although I consider my photos small, they're still gigantic compared to the ones in the original sketch. So mine's going to span a bigger area than the original that has on it. And I do think the original is super cute. It has you in black. And I really considered getting out a cursive you because I'm sure I'm bound to have one. But then I decided to go with the sparkle instead. 
it's kind of hard for me to use those holographic ones and I thought I think I can pull it off on this page especially if I'm going to use those sequins and they're going to sparkle so I dug it out I matted my photos in pink vellum and then I put a scrap it's a it was scrap left over from another layout from last week and I really liked it and I thought well I'm gonna see if I can use it on another page somewhere so I left it laying out so that it was handy because you know teal aqua those kind of colors you can always find a place for them on your layout but I want to make sure to mention that down there below you'll find links to Christie's Facebook group where you can Use the same sketch and upload your layout to the Facebook group so we can see it. And also there's Christina Sorge's Redefine Creative. And she's doing a live video every day with the same sketches that we're using. And then there's oodles and oodles more down there. And it's getting close to the end of the month. It's like eight more days after this. Oh my goodness. We'll have a whole month down. If I can make it that long, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm kind of late, but I'm trying. I did put the sparkle in the same spot they had the title up in the original sketch. Oh, and here's my leftovers. Uh, stuff I fussy cut and haven't used. And flowers that I built from my punches and dies. And... Yeah, I am going to change the center on that one because it's a bright yellow. There's no other yellow on my layout. So I'm going to take it off and put, well, it's a light green on there. That green right there. And I'm going to punch out some little tiny flowers as centers to some other flowers that are pretty small themselves. So although I wanted to use them... Some of them wasn't quite working for what I wanted them to work for on this layout. I wanted to stay with the teals or the pinks. and There really wasn't that much pink in there. I wanted to make sure I had three of whatever I used. And since all three of these are different, I must have been feeling creative that day. The little tiny flowers were white. I punched them out for something I can't even remember now. And... They were white, so I threw them in there, and I thought, well, I can always ink them. And I'm using a really old chalk ink. I'm not sure who it's by or anything. I took a class at the local scrapbook store that we don't have no more. And, you know, you pay for the class. You get the layout and all that stuff. But sometimes you get something extra, too. Well, I got that ink to go with my layout because everybody needs to use the same color ink and so yeah and it's a really light pretty green i mean it's really light about the same color as the center that i was punching out with that little punch earlier and um yeah i think that's about it besides the sequence there was a few leaves punched out and i did consider hunting for that cardstock but I was sure I used that whole thing and did not have any more. I love that. I wish I knew what color it was so that I could order some more. But it came in a kit one time. You know how the, some of the kits will give you a couple pieces of cardstock to match? Well, that's what it came in. And I had no clue what color that is. But I'm pretty sure it's basil. If anybody can tell in the close-up, <laughs> leave it in the comment below what color it is. I'd like to get some more. But the flowers was made with my older Stampin' Up! punch and Sizzix um, is Stephanie Barn something. <laughs> uh, anyway, it was, it's one of her uh, die sets with the little flowers. I know her first name's Stephanie. But I think she has a flower dye number two. And you can't get the other one anymore except maybe on eBay. But I like the new one a lot. <laughs> but I figure I've got this one. So I'm keeping and using this one instead of getting the other one. Now if it was drastically different. I might not be able to talk myself out of it. Because y'all know I love tools. But yeah the sequence that I'm going to use is the Prima ones 
And they do have yellow in there, but I am not going to use the yellow. And I do like yellow, but since I was using that scrap piece of paper, that's what I was going with on the colors for my layout. And of course, I needed another color to go with it, and that's how the pinks. And of course, since the layout gave me the idea of the gray. But yeah, no yellow on today's layout. And although I usually just scatter the sequins and try to glue them down close to where or right on the place that they've got scattered, since I'm not putting the yellow on, I don't want them all over the place. So I am picking and choosing where they're going today. But I think once I've put the sequins all on there, I think I do put a couple of more and notice the spot that I thought needed it. And no, I guess not. I must have already done that. <laughs> that's it that's my layout that's my great niece Alex and yeah see what I mean about feeling creative when I made those flowers I layered one two three four flowers on top of each other yeah and put a center in there so yeah I must have been feeling creative that day but I think I did put foam tape on every one of them for a change you know sometimes I just do it on a few, but today I put it on all of them. And that's it. That's my layout. If you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Try this sketch and post it in the Facebook group or Instagram. Bye.